All right, hello everybody. We are here in the Tantera Estates. And I just went ahead and put my stuff down here in the little house my family rented out for the weekend. This is on 33 Elbow K. Got this through VRBO. Um, I made a prerequisite video to this, kind of touring the rest of the resort here. And one of the things I explained in that video is that most of these houses were built on the resort rental program, meaning that they sort of had like an owner's suite on the top, which was often rented out, and then another rental unit down on the bottom. And it looks like this one is the case, or that is the case, I should say, with this one. Um, though this one's unusual in that I don't think I've ever seen one of these that actually has a second suite downstairs. So, back in the day, you would have had like a magnetic lock here. In this case, it just gave us a combination to get in the building. And then, up here, there would have been a second lock to get in this room, and another one downstairs. So we're going to go ahead and take a tour of this place. Like I said, I haven't really looked around much myself, though this is bringing me back quite a bit. It doesn't look like this one has really been modified much at all from its uh, original configuration here. And it might have the original carpet, too. <laughs> so up here is the main living room area. Uh, very nice and cozy with the vaulted ceiling. Um, has a lot of that, like, 70s charm to it have a functioning fireplace by the looks of things back over there. Um, some very nice furniture here in the main living room area. These couches look nice and comfortable. They're in really good shape too. Yeah, very comfortable. And I wonder if this is... yep, this one is a pull-out couch, so you could sleep additional people out here. Um, got two little windows in the corner. Could use to be cleaned a little bit. And then over here you have the main screened-in patio. That was already unlatched. So, you can see the ceiling is nice and high. This actually looks like it's um, been maintained pretty nicely. These things tend to fall apart pretty quick, you know, with wood construction sitting down at the lake. And there's the lake right there. This is lakefront property, legit. Very nice green and patio, actually. And then there's an additional section out here, strangely blocked by this chair, um, where it looks like we actually have not one but two charcoal grills that we might be able to use if I can get the door open. <laughs> so yeah, and a lounge chair out here too. A little bit dirty, but actually very charming with the trees kind of growing up everywhere. And you can see the end of the cove right down here. That is one issue a lot of people ran into at this place is that they bought lake view property and the trees kind of grew up around them. But this one still does have a very nice lake view. And the trees add a lot of charm and a lot of privacy. I notice there's a set of stairs on this side. I wonder what this goes to. There's like 20 spider webs between me and the next step down there. Though, by the looks of things, oh, it just goes down to that path right there. And then I think that must go down to a dock somewhere. Yep, there it is. So it looks like you follow it down. There's a dock at the end. I might go ahead and take a walk down there later and check out what that shed is too. But for now, I'm just gonna go ahead and continue with the room tour. So we'll get back in the room, close the door. There's a lot of things that seem unusual about this one compared to the other ones that I've seen. Another one is the addition of central air. Most of these don't have that. And it's doing a very nice job holding 70 on a hot day. In here you have the galley kitchen, pretty typical of these places. Probably a pantry, yep. Hey, somebody left us some garlic salt. Got a dishwasher down here. Nice large sink. A little bitty microwave, though nice and clean. Can't really say the same for the coffee maker, though. Nah. Wow, that's probably the worst coffee pot I've ever seen. Oh, man. Okay, so note to self, if we make coffee, clean out the coffee pot first. Got an old electric range here, uh, complete with most likely the original hood vent, too. Yeah, I bet this is original to the unit. These old GEs just never die. Well, it heats right up, so it does work. Oven could use a little bit of a scrub. Nits. 
some barbecue supplies, I guess, in this one. I mean, obviously the place is a little bit on the dated side, and uh, maybe a little on the run-down side, too. But one thing to keep in mind with this place is that uh, we're not talking about a real high-dollar rental here. We're talking about something that's going for a little over $100 a night in peak season. So keep that in mind. So far, it does seem reasonably clean and everything works. And it is pretty charming, too. Though I'm surprised how dark it is in here. It's a little bit of a cave compared to what most of these are like. So anyway, as we continue over this way, we have... Whoa, that's a shower curtain. Uh, we have the bathroom for the upstairs area, which is nicely separated from the bedroom, so that probably helps when you have a lot of people in here. You got your sink. Oh, they actually left some like shampoo and things under here, and a Burger King cup, evidently. Dare I? Oh, it's... <laughs> they're using it to hold the toilet brush. Okay, so it's not left behind garbage. Interesting technique. <laughs> anyway, you have the toilet over here. And this crazy matte and leopard skin <laughs> shower curtain. That's a first. Let's see. <clears throat> Pressure could be a little bit better. Well, the shower head actually does seem to work pretty decently. So yeah, not too bad. Anyway, we'll continue over here. Oh, nice, there is a light out here. I didn't see that before. And this is the master bedroom. Also with a vaulted ceiling. Uh, let's see, I guess this is the closet over here. With some spare pillows and a <laughs> blanket kind of shoved up there. And I guess a spare alarm clock too. Lots of storage though, which is always nice. King size bed. It actually looks like it's pretty well appointed. I don't want to mess up the bed too much since I'm not going to be sleeping in this one myself. Very formal furniture with lots and lots and lots of drawers. But everything seems pretty nice. Again, I mean, obviously a little bit dated, but not terribly so. And then this is the same little patio we were looking at from the screened-in one over there. So, I think we've gotten a pretty good overview of the unit up here. Sort of has the grandma's house in the woods type of feel to it. So let's head back out here in the hallway. And you can see, like, again, this would have been originally the door to that room. And we'll go down the stairs to the other room. Back in the day, you used to be able to get a steal, like renting these smaller rooms that were down on the bottom. So here's the second unit. Oh, I didn't notice this before. Maybe utilities? Yep, looks like it's a utility closet. Uh, you got the two furnaces for the place right here. I'm guessing the smaller ones are downstairs. Get some leftover paint and other random assorted things in here. Wouldn't surprise me if they probably meant to lock this, but it's nice to leave it open in case something goes wrong, I guess. So I'll go ahead and turn the light off. Anyway, $69.99. I don't think they actually use that room number system anymore. Uh, so yeah, this is the second unit down here. Furniture in this one obviously looks like it's a little bit more of a hand-me-down kind of situation, but it seems pretty nice. Sofa is a little older, but still very nice and actually more comfortable than I was even thinking would be. This is nice and cushy. Got your TV over there with a bunch of cables hanging out on the side. What's going on with this? Okay, that's cable TV. Somebody unplugged the audio, I guess. Here, I'll fix it for them. Look at that. Fix the audio for this old DVD player down here, which probably never gets used. But yeah, got a TV, little eat-in area over here, got a second patio. Oh, 
Duh. Anyway, got your second patio out here. Uh, got a lounge chair. Just one chair over here, a second table, and some kind of gross looking thing there. No idea what that is. I don't really want to know. And you can see the... Uh, Nobody comes out of here much, I take it. Anyway, you can see the stairs down to the dock over there. Got that shed. And we're sort of on the end of the cove over here. And there's the stairs I was looking at for the patio upstairs. Anyway, I'll go back inside. I'm actually surprised how well that slides. Let's see if I can lock it again. Okay, I guess that's why this one was being used before. So, this is what makes this one so unusual. I've never seen a kitchen in a downstairs unit before. And we're talking vintage over here, too. Look at this stove. Perfectly clean, though. I bet it hasn't been used much over the years. Vintage GE. This is actually pretty cool. And it does still work, too. So what did I just turn on? Left rear. Yep, already getting warm. Got a microwave. This seems to be a running trend here. <laughs> Man, wash the coffee pot. Come on. Look at that. Got a second fridge with, I guess, some leftover ice. Thankfully, that's the only thing that's left over. Oh, I take that back. Somebody went to McDonald's. Yummy, yummy. Let's see how old this is. <laughs> I don't actually see an expiration date on it. They might not put it on the individual packages. I guess that's a water heater for this part down here. This is probably meant to be pulled over a little more. But yeah, there's even a second dishwasher down here. I'm so surprised that there's, like, this kitchen is actually fully equipped. Even though it's really tiny, it has everything that you need. I didn't really even notice this, but look at that vintage uh, stove fan, too. It does work. I got a closet of some sort here. Looks like another ironing board. Um, it's kind of mouse trap that's awesome and this door doesn't open up it's actually splitting but yeah just basically a bunch of garbage on the top shelf <laughs> I guess that's about as good as that's gonna get uh, exact same layout as upstairs here you got a little hallway deja vu exact same bathroom just with a slightly less ugly shower curtain over there and no Burger King cup this time Aw. Some additional towels. Not too often you see a brown towel. Second toilet. And then the second shower with two shower curtain rods. I guess they found this one was too low or something. Uh, looks like a much older shower head. A lot of calcium on there. Let's see how this works. So, <clears throat> what the? I have no idea which way is hot and which way is cold in this scenario. But better pressure and... Huh. Oh, it might be ugly, but it actually works better than the one upstairs. It's a pretty nice shower. I hope that they just leave, like, all the random shampoo for you, too. I mean, I guess it's a nice gesture. It's not, like, hotel professional or anything, but... I think they mean well. So... Take a peek at the second bedroom. Again, deja vu, just like upstairs, minus the vaulted ceiling. Uh, it's interesting how whew, that window's dirty. Man, look at that. Uh, but yeah, you have a view of the end of the cove down here. It looks like some people's pool noodles have washed up over there. But it is a true lakefront unit, just barely. Hmm. 
actually has like the Bible, like a hotel room would. Then you got your throw pillows. I'm not really going to dissect this bed quite like I do in a hotel room tour, but the linens actually all seem very nice. I'll have to go a little more in depth. Mattress is obviously older, but looks perfectly clean. I'm honestly uh, a little bit surprised how nice this bedding is. Very nice bed. Hmm. And also down here, again, very rare, but this unit also has central air. It has its own thermostat over here. Then you got like your old hotel room style door. So, all in all, I mean, I can see why this is one of the cheaper rentals in the whole place. It's not in the, the greatest condition, and it's not exactly the cleanest either. But that being said, this is still about 10 steps above a lot of hotel rooms I've even toured. And given the fact that we got a bargain on it, I'll certainly give them a pass. It's a kind of a fun throwback, staying at Tantera. Plenty of space, too. So yeah, that's about all I've got for this tour. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Definitely one of the more unique tours that I've done. Uh, thank you guys, as always, for watching. And that is it.